now that we've identified so many genes, we've learned that they fall into three categories. They either affect immune regulation, the ability of the intestine to serve as a barrier to protect us against um, uh, bacteria and other insults, or that, we ha that there are deficits in genes involved with the policing of the bacteria that live in your intestine. These include uh, drugs like the TNF blockers, uh, infliximab and adalusumab, which are widely used, but also other categories of biologicals, blockers for activating hormones of the immune system, and I, I told you about IL-12 and IL-23, that's now in clinical trials, and we should know in a year or two how safe and effective those will be. There's other uh, quite exotic but exciting studies going on, like the use of mesenchymal stem cells. We have a trillion human cells in our body, but there are almost a hundred trillion bacteria, so on a percent basis, we're only 10% or 1% human. So these bacteria are very important to our health. The CCFA two years ago, recognizing the importance of this, established a large project to study bacteria to ask, what are these bacteria? What are they doing inside of our body and how can we study them? Our goal is to have 1,100 children with new onset Crohn's enrolled into this study so that we could identify their, uh, their environment, the diet that they're eating, their genetics, and their bacteria so that we could understand how all the factors come together to determine the nature of their disease, how they respond to treatment, and what could we do to help them.